Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. Thanks for tuning in. You guys, I wanted to share something different that I'm, or a way I'm going to approach Project Life this year for 2023. It had been in my mind that I wanted to switch things up, but I didn't really want to let go Ellie Studio, which is the monthly subscription that I um, subscribe to for the last two to three years. I keep forgetting how long it's been, but I love getting that kit every single month. I love having just the basic kit or getting to pick and choose the add-on items. That's not going to change. However, I just wanted to spice it up a bit so that way while I'm waiting for that kit or if I just want to change, I have something that I can pull from. So I went into Simple Stories. Simple Stories and I believe Echo Park, they do have a few collections that they bring out that is in a annual theme. As you can see here regarding this collection, it says January, February, March, April, and all the counterparts all the way up until December. The newer collection that Simple Stories has is the, the collection called Life Captured. And I really thought about purchasing it but I did love this one just as much and I decided to go with the older collection since this released in 2020. I really loved all the colors regarding this collection and all of the add-ons. So um, Echo Park does a day in the life um, type of annual collections and they do have the same sequence of January, February, March in just different colors and uh, stickers. So you Can definitely use that and I think it's more affordable if you buy everything that you plan to use like I didn't buy so like this is all the items that I bought regarding this collection but I really was just picking the the things that I really really wanted the number one item besides the uh, kit with all the cutter parts I did also get the um <laughs> these foam stickers and the funny thing about it is that they are so dimensional so in reality they may not even make it in my project life album since it's going to create a lot of bulk that I don't need however I could not pass up these font scripty bubbly titles that I loved so much I just loved them I knew I had to pick them up so I may be making a few 12 by 12 layouts out of this collection or for my chocolate notebook. And um, even though they may bring a lot of bulk to that layout, I am here for it. So let me go ahead and start diving in to the pattern papers here. And then while I dive into this collection, I'm going to throw out a few of the ideas that I thought on why I chose a kit such as this, a 12 by 12 kit to bring into Project Life in addition to LE Studio, of course, just because I felt like you can definitely just grab any type of 12 by 12 paper pad or collection and make it work for you. But I do love having um, the consistency of every single month having that same look, which if you look at other collections, if you don't like the color scheme as this one, the good stuff, you can look at the Life Captured one. You can look at Echo Park's A Day in the Life, the first edition, as well as the second one. There's so many beautiful different colors that honestly, they would all work. Also, just a thing to note, uh, Simple Stories does also have their main uh, website that you can buy uh, digital uh, collections. Uh, there is an older collection that I loved. I think it's called Best Year Ever or Best Day Ever. And it also has another version of every single month, the cut aparts that you can also print yourself, which is what I also bought that I just could not resist it. And I bought it on Black Friday, uh, half off. So just something in mind, I can also buy the digital version of this and do my journaling within the card and then print it out too. I've thought about that, but that's a whole other topic. <laughs> At another time, I will dive into that of just experimenting and enjoying creating in Project Life. I think I've been doing this for quite a bit to where I want to spice it up and each year maybe, you know, may vary. Some years I just want to document it. I don't want to play around with it, but I think since I don't have a lot of projects on my plate as I start the new year other than my planner, I want to um, throw myself into Project Life to get excited about this project again. So let me go ahead and dig into the paper. 
to start off with January. I love how we have a 4x6 here. This is definitely going to be my intro card for each month. I can add some journaling here. I can add again some more journaling, a nice some filler cards, or I can definitely add in some um, embellishments. I think that's the perfect amount. Any cards that I may not use, I'll turn it around and just use the background and make my own filler cards. Moving to the next one, we have February. Again, another card that I just, I love these three cards right here. Actually, the four. Actually, I love them all, you guys. I love all of them. And I initially looked at this collection and I thought, wow, it's so bold. Can I do this? But looking at each card individually, I love it. I love them. And I only use two to three cards per layout or per pocket page. So it's not really going to overwhelm. And any um, card that I don't use, I'll definitely use the back. All right, moving to the next month, we have Mars, Barch, <laughs> that sounded weird, live a colorful life, I love that, live outside the lines, again, beautiful all the way around, ooh, this is going to be very hard to use, and this is a perfect card to use, I mean, a perfect, um, plant, um, b-side regarding making additional, like, 4x6 or 3x4 cards to journal. All right, moving to April, find beauty with in the everyday, a perfect project life sentiment, since documenting in project life is just the little things of every day. So that is so perfect. Here comes the sun and I say it's all right. Here and now, hello, maybe, oh yeah. These are so, and then a, a note because, you know, not everything's all, you know, butterflies and rainbows, right? And then we have this nice floral here in the back where I can definitely see um, cutting um, out into little embellishments. All right, let's move on to May. We have this nice neutral type gray here. And it says, nope, not today. Happy mix. Celebrate every day. Go with the flow. Make your own music. Document it some for some journaling. When in doubt, dance it out. And for the record, I love these little clusters right here. But you can definitely recreate on your own. But I just love how it already sets this, the page for you. So we have a nice um, plus sign here in the back to use. All right, it says, hola, hi, and hello, in three different versions. We have one, two, three things that I can jot down. July and this beautiful mustardy golden yellow. And again, just some filler cards. Here, can, I can place a little stamped sentiment right here or a, a, a label on here and just make a little jot. Again, same thing on these cards right here as well. And in the back, we have the polka dots. You guys, I'm getting so many ideas just looking at this, and I'm getting excited for Project Life, which is something I definitely recommend um, as you continue to do this project year after year. Spice it up, change things around if that's what you need. I've kept things pretty consistent as I've done this project for quite a few years, so it's nice to just kind of open a new doorway to bring in more ideas. So I hope you stick along with the journey as I experiment and try this out. Then we have a June, be bold. This is perfect for June, love the ice cream. Definitely see myself having some photos regarding that. And sometimes I feel like I think I would either cut these out and make little embellishments, especially if I'm tired of the colors that I think I can see here. Like maybe I may not wanna do that with um, a ton of pink and I can just back it out with maybe putting it on the back of this photo. I mean this um, pattern paper or a different one. Keep your face always toward the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you. Oh, that's a beautiful segment. So fun. Look at these, you guys. I just, I love it. I am in love. August. All the juicy details. We have a nice little tag that I can cut out. We have this, oh, a nice, beautiful filler card. I love that. Life's a peach. If you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams and you will always look lovely. You guys. Oh. And then the peaches. I really actually love everything on this card. You may want to place like a little label right here so it's not a full filler card. And maybe I'll do like some stepping around the peach or just at the bottom. Then we have September 24-7. This is everyday life. It's time to, and then I can pick and choose between the my hair here. My story matters, little details, noteworthy. Hello, friend. You guys, these are just so stunning. And now I can definitely see this being like a little mat for a photo. 
or some of the cards. Be kind, be humble, be beautiful, be bold, be you. That, I love that script. It's so beautiful. October, the sky's the limit. Here's the story. Yes. Dream chaser, details, happy day, and then three things to jot down. And here's the story. And in the back of that card are these nice um, lines of all the colors within the collection. And then we have November, loving this. Oh, hey, stay golden. And a bunch of filler cards, shine bright and lovely and celebrate. Look at these. I am so excited. Then we have December, the good stuff. A nice little tab here. Memo to me. Oh, that is so cute. Cheers to you. Cheers, y'all. Live your best life. Forgive quickly. Kiss slowly. Love truly. Laugh uncontrollably. And never regret anything that made you smile. Hi, friends. And a beautiful floral page here in the back. And the last thing that I'm going to share regarding the kit are the stickers. And another thing that I want to mention to you is even though um, I have a ton of these cut aparts, which I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to cut them all up and kind of keep them together. Um, and if I don't use it for one month, like for instance, January, I'll roll it to the next month. Unless I see a card that I really, really want to use um, in another month that I'm totally going to do it. But I'm really going to try and keep December cards within um, December. Unless I don't really care for that card and I want to use the back. But I also thought that if I don't want to use some of the cards or I run out of my stash within the month, if I run out of all my December cards and my Project Life documentation is not complete for December, then I could start making my own cards here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some 3x4 uh, cardstock, white cardstock, or any of these others left the background and make my own so I do have some here well I don't so I would cut it up into a 3x4 or a 4x6 and then make my own and I could just easily place this like right here and put real life just like that and bam I have my own little project life card made using this collection so that it still coordinates so that's something that I thought I can do regarding the stickers using some of these little cute icons that will coordinate. This is why I love the idea of getting the collection is that it's all going to coordinate just like when I'm working with LA Studio and the kit and any of the add-ons that I got. It's going to work with itself and I can do that here as well with this. I can make my own little um, trim along some of the cards. A day in the life and details. This is so cute and I cannot wait to get started. Moving on to the rest of the items regarding the collection that I purchased. Like I said, I did not get everything, but I did get the things that I thought I would use. I got the journal bits, and at the end of the video, I will share those with you if you would like to see them. I also got the bits and pieces. And again, I will share that with you and just my thought process on what I can possibly use them. I did think about what I would use them before I purchase things, and it just makes it worth purchasing each item. Oh, I'm showing you, I'm sharing, I'm showing the foam stickers because I didn't give you a full um, viewing of them, and I'm just gushing all over them yet again because they're just so beautiful. All right, what to share next? I'm going to go ahead and share the paper pad because I want to talk a little bit more about this. So the paper pad, it is a 6x8. I thought this would be perfect to use to help coordinate with each of the months in case I run out of cards. But I also thought if I'm going to go back into documenting in a traveler's notebook, this is the perfect size to be able to place into my album or my traveler's notebook. So let's go ahead and dig in and give that to you. And I know it is a bigger size, but as you can see, there's a lot of blank space around the edges so I can trim if I need to. There are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. Capture today. This is nice. What is that? Lace. I couldn't think of the name. Very bold, but I love the bigger um, words right here. Keep things simple. And you see here I have four, three by four cards. I'm going to take these out and automatically place a set into my... Um, project life. 
shine on you make me so happy hey sunshine happy day and this is a repeat so i think i'm going to take out the first set and automatically place it in project life and then the other set i'll do for traveler's notebook layouts all right now that i said about the six by eight paper pad i'm going to talk a little bit about the sticker book Again, just some ideas that went into my head here was making my own Project Life cards in case I do run out since I do have the 12 by 12 collection kit, but I don't. I only have one sheet or one cut apart for each month. Um, the odds of having or running out is a possibility, so I can turn around and make some coordinating cards here. I have some washi tape straps, some stickers. I could even do some small titles here using these these little um, letters and some places to do some journaling or stamping labels. And I love this section right here so, so much. I love the different fonts that are on here, the different colors and easy little prompts or subtitles to start off my journaling on a project life card that I create. So I'm going to go ahead and just give you some examples that I got and I can see using here like I'm going to go with a this is everyday life which we've seen that sentiment on some of the cards so it will coordinate with this. Um, best day ever would coordinate as well and I can place it right there. I can place a sticker from over here, maybe the little rainbow like that. Best day ever and then do the journaling or maybe even a small photo. So easy cards to create and I think I will record that when I go into the week that needs some cards to help spice up the last week of the month or something. So I have some cards already made to be able to get started. The last item that I purchased were the washi tape and again that just the idea to be able to make like little cluster embellishments which we saw on some of the uh, cards. I think we saw them here. Let me check and see. Kind of like this, I can make my own little clusters on the cards using the stickers or the embellishments from the collection. So, and then I can definitely see these being the little title wrapped around here at the top, or again, making it look like post-it or little memos here, clusters. All right, let's move on to share the ephemera pieces. This is the bits and pieces. I'm gonna give you a quick view of the back and then we're gonna jump right in. All right, you guys, I'm switching to a voiceover as I dig into the two ephemera packs. Mm -hmm. Looking at this first pack, I see the numbers 1 through 12, which is to uh, document each month. And it reminds me that I didn't do a full flip through of the sticker book. So you can see these nice uh, scripty fonts for each of the months. And then there is another set of 1 through 12 numbers here in a sticker form. That gave me the idea that I can use one set of numbers in Project Life and the other set when documenting in my Traveler's Notebook. I love the idea of having a Traveler's Notebook for each of the months, so that way I have a place for all the January stories and all the Februarys and, and so forth. So that's the idea for the numbers, the repetitive set of numbers. Now I'm going into the die cut here and I'm just placing them along a 3x4 cardstock, just giving out some ideas on how I think I would make some filler cards. Here, this is a thumbs up die cut here. And I wondered if it will look good with the thumbs down just because some days are not. <laughs> or not thumbs up if you know what I mean and I'm just looking through the die cuts here seeing how easy and how quick I can make some filler cards looking at this kit that's what I think is exciting me the most bringing in this collection is the possibility of making my own filler cards my own project life cards and just having fun with it it has been a few months since I've done Project Live, so I think this was the push or the excitement I needed to come back to it as we jump into the new year. Now let's go into the second pack of Ephemera. There is this cute 
speech bubble that I placed on the 3x4 cardstock and bam that was an easy card that I created just an idea I don't know how if it's going to stay that way but I love how simplistic that was and how it's it's easy and fun so if you're grabbing anything from this video it is just to have fun with your products and get creative and enjoy the process so I'm just grabbing out some more of the die cuts here. I love the way they created these clusters. And in the sticker book, there are these floral clusters that I can definitely do again uh, to recreate it. Also something to note in the second ephemera pack where these tabs and they have each of the days of the week. So I'll show us seven of them. And that gave me the idea to go ahead and one week in Project Life strive to document or print out one photo for each day to use those tabs. Just getting completely inspired with this collection to create and to come back to Project Life, which is something that I really needed since I've been away from this project for quite a few months and it's definitely the push that I needed. All right, you guys, I have shared the unboxing for this collection by Simple Stories, which is called The Good Stuff. It is an older collection, but I have now shared what I plan to do with it regarding Project Life, and I hope you continue to watch this series as I as I place my life on my paper. Um, comment down below, let me know if you've done something like this, or if you're switching things up regarding Project Life, or if it's the first time you're doing it. And yeah, until next time, thanks for watching guys. Bye.